Hey guys, gonna answer a couple of questions today. Uh, don't really have a lot of time. I'll, I'll get to some more uh, over the next couple of days. Um, but one interesting one I saw was if he had a superpower, what would it be? My superpower would be to read minds. And not just, not just like freely read minds like or not just like reading minds all the time like I couldn't control it I just want to be able to you know just concentrate on like one person be like what are you thinking and then figure out what they're thinking it would make life's challenges a lot easier <laughs> if you know what I mean reading minds that would be my superpower um Someone else said, have you ever liked a straight guy? Yes. How did you react when you told him? If you know he's straight, uh, don't tell him you like him. That, like, if he's, if he's a friend or if he's just an acquaintance, you don't you don't tell him you like him if he's straight and, and you're gay. It uh, doesn't lead to positive things. So, no, I've never told a person whom I know is straight that I like them. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of watching the Vancouver Chicago game at the same time as I'm doing this. Uh, do I see myself with children as a grown man? I honestly don't know. Um, I don't think so, but I, now Pedro's messing up with the, uh, camera cord. I don't think so, but I'm not closing that door. Uh, sort of the same with whether or not I'm going to uh, travel for my first pre-doctorate in university or whatever. Go somewhere for school, I mean. I, I don't think I will, but I'm not closing that door. Um, what do I think of celibacy? Do you think gay teens or teens in general should obtain from showing their feelings with partners in a sexual manner? Um, well, I don't believe in celibacy. Uh, I don't believe in uh, abstaining from sex before marriage. Uh, I don't believe in people being overly promiscuous. Uh, I think that's reckless as well as unprotected sex is reckless. Um, overly promiscuous, that is. Obviously, some people's definitions, where do you draw the line? I'm saying if you have multiple partners in a month, <laughs> you know, if you have, if you have over three different partners in a month, you're borderline overly promiscuous. You're really, uh, you're putting yourself at risk. So, that's what I'd considered as being overly promiscuous. Um, what do you think is in store for the future of the human race? We'll tackle that one later. Uh, do you see a career based on writing as something you'd like to pursue? I do like writing. As much as I like writing, I like talking a lot more. I like uh, articulating my ideas and my opinions um, a lot more than I do uh, writing them. I've actually, I haven't <laughs> written uh, I haven't written anything in my book in a, uh, in a while, quite a while actually, I think, uh, the last time I wrote anything in it was maybe a page over Christmas break, not even, but yeah, <laughs> so it's been a while since I've written, I get into these stalemates a lot, um, so I'm gonna stop it there, because I gotta get back to watching the game. <laughs> um, I'll continue answering questions over the next couple of days. Uh, been busy lately. Uh, it's football. Football coach is throwing a whole new system at us. It's really confusing because it's got a whole bunch of misdirection and whatnot and he wants us to use this, use this in Friday's game and he's teaching us it on Monday and Tuesday. It doesn't make sense. Anyways. I think it's on Friday that the game is. It might be earlier than that. Anyways, yeah, so, and I got a field trip tomorrow, which is fun, you know, but it means I have to, the bus leaves before school normally starts, 
which is weak, because I normally get to school like 15 minutes after the morning bell, and I'm always late. Yeah. So, while well, it's awesome that it's a field trip, it's also like, why are you making me get up early? Pros and cons, pros and cons, but anyways, I'll see you guys later.